welcome to episode 109 of Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. We will cover Android 15 Beta 4, Samsung's Galaxy and Pact event, Google Play's new collections feature and security enhancements, inspirational stories from VR Play series, and lots of stable Android X releases. The fourth beta of Android 15 is now available. This release brings stability and final APIs for you to test and integrate into your apps. The blog covers the removal of the legacy emoji phone, so if your app uses it, you will want to switch to an alternative as soon as possible. Android 15 also introduces several new features, including predictive back animations, low light boost for improved photography, a variable font for CJK languages, insights into app startup, screen recording detection, partial screen sharing, link in specific views with credential manager requests, edge to edge drawing by default, and several previews for Android widgets providers. Test your apps for compatibility with Android 15 and update any necessary SDKs. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event unveiled the latest foldables, wearables, and more. In this blog, Maru shares how to get your apps ready for the latest Android devices, how you can prepare your app for Wear OS 5, and how to build adaptive apps that scale across mobile, tablets, foldables, and more. Google announced Android device streaming in open beta at Google I.O. 2024. This enables you to test your apps on physical devices in Google data centers. Grant and others shared that Android device streaming is now expanding its partnership with other device manufacturers, such as Samsung, Xiaomi, and Oppo. It allows you to access even more physical devices directly in Android Studio using OmniLab for secure connections. Canon discuss Google Play new collections feature. It organizes app content into categories and allows users to access them from a Play Store widget. You can use the Engage SDK to push personalized content to collections with minimal effort. Top apps like Amazon Prime Video and Spotify have already integrated with the Engage SDK. Basie and Chris introduced the Android Application Security Knowledge Base. It's a repository of common code issues with remediation examples and explanations for implementing specific code patterns. Android Studio has updated its security link checks to include links to relevant articles from the Android Application Security Knowledge Base, providing context for vulnerable code snippets. Robbie shares stories from people creating apps and games in the United States, highlighting additional emerging businesses on Google Play. These stories demonstrate the diverse and innovative nature of the app and game industry in the United States. Robbie also highlights Amanita Design, founded by Jakob in Prague, that creates visually stunning and narratively rich games inspired by Czech landscapes and folklore. The unique approach has earned worldwide recognition. Over to podcasts and videos. In Android Developers Backstage, Thor and Roman chat about micro-optimizations and writing custom tools, such as Kotlin Explorer, that can help detect code inefficiencies. They also discuss the cost of using companion objects, making hash maps more performant, and many more tips to optimize your app. Compose tip series have three new videos. Simona deep dives into nested scrolling in Compose. She explains complex coordination between multiple components on a single scroll. Rebecca explains how to add the pager composable to your apps and get beautiful gestures on paged content. Rebecca and Doris introduce Lockahat a layout system, a new powerful feature of Compose. Using this new mechanism, you can create layouts that animate fluidly. Marcelo shares how Android X lifecycle libraries such as ViewModel, Lifecycle Runtime, and Compose were converted to Kotlin multi-platform. Moving on to Android X news, we have a lot of stable releases. For Wear apps, check out stable Wear proto layout and Wear tiles. For game apps, there are several releases including Game Activity, Games Text Input, and Games Frame Pacing. Several libraries include additional Kotlin multi-platform targets, such as paging and annotation. And a lot of other stable releases dropped. Media, 
collection, transition, life cycle, fragment, activity, work manager, and compose compiler. That's it for this week with Android 15 Beta 4, Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event, Google Play's new collections feature and security enhancements, inspirational stories from the Via Play series, and lots of stable Android X releases. Please like, share, subscribe, and check back soon for more updates from the Android Developer Universe.